Jenny Oakley, the Associate Director of Research Programs at the Environmental Institute of Houston at the University of Houston Clear Lake. We've had a busy year and have many partners and friends to thank for their continued support, which has helped EIH grow and fulfill our mission to advance the understanding of the environment through interdisciplinary research, education, and outreach. EIH researchers continue to partner with the Texas Commission on Environmental Quality to conduct the National Aquatic Resource Surveys in Texas, and this year was focused on lakes. Our team sampled 50 lakes, ponds, and reservoirs all over the state of Texas. We are in the final phases of a project with the Texas Comptroller of Public Accounts to conduct research on the Western Chicken Turtle, which is currently under listing status review by the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service. Another project in partnership with the Comptroller's Office is a range-wide assessment of the alligator snapping turtle in Texas. We are studying their distribution, abundance, genetics, reproduction, and habitat associations. EIH staff and students continue to conduct monitoring for the Clean Rivers program with the Houston-Galveston Area Council. This long-running partnership provides critical data used by the state to determine if our surface waters are meeting water quality standards. We began a new project in partnership with the Texas Parks and Wildlife Department, River Studies Program, and Coastal Fisheries to study American eel recruitment in Texas. We're using a combination of eel ramps, environmental DNA, and plankton sampling to target glass and elver eels. We are moving into our second phase of research with the Harris County Flood Control District, which is evaluating a full-scale deployment of floating wetlands to improve storm water quality in a local detention basin. Our partnership with the Galveston Bay Foundation on the Galveston Bay Dolphin Research Program continues to grow. Our team conducts quarterly photo identification surveys, and we recently added our 1,000th dolphin to our catalog. In collaboration with the Turtle Island Restoration Network and the Galveston Bay Estuary Program, we are working to monitor microplastic pollution in and around Galveston Bay, and we use outreach and education tools to create an informed community focused on reducing plastic waste. We've recently kicked off a study in collaboration with the University of Houston for the Galveston Bay Foundation's Oyster Recycling Program to investigate sun curing conditions and the presence of dermo infection in oysters. EIH researchers continue to conduct biannual monitoring of diamondback terrapin populations in Galveston Bay. This is supported by our Terrapin Adoption Program, where you can symbolically name and adopt a terrapin from our monitored population. This year, under contract with CPNY, one of our federal permitted biologists assisted in a construction project in San Felipe Creek, where the threatened Devil's River minnow was found. We continue to partner with Water Monitoring Solutions to maintain a continuous water quality monitoring network for the Gulf Coast Water Authority. Finally, we wrapped up a project with the Coastal Fisheries Program of TPWD to study the distribution, abundance, and habitat associations of the dwarf seahorse in Texas. This final report and all of EIH's publications can be found under the research section of our website. With all of our projects, we continue to integrate cutting-edge technologies into our research, advancing understanding of the environment. Hi, I'm Wendy Riceley, EIH's Environmental Education Coordinator. Our environmental education programs have accomplished a lot in this past year. I want to thank all of our hardworking volunteers and our partners for helping us succeed. We facilitated the 2022 Hybrid Texas Envirothon competition at the University of Houston Clear Lake campus this year. High school students from around the state attended a field trip to Armand Bayou Nature Center as part of the competition and students presented their oral presentations via Zoom to a panel of judges. In addition, we were able to conduct 14 programs with our Texas Parks and Wildlife Department Community Outdoor Outreach Grant. These programs included monthly youth birding outings, teams participated in the Great Texas Birding Classic, and we held a week-long overnight girls outdoor adventure camp. Our environmental education team worked hard to facilitate four weeks of summer camps in June. We offered our Discover Nature Camp for grades one and two, Citizen Science Camp for grades three through five, and Hunger Games Camp for middle school students. Additionally, this year we offered a week-long high school camp entitled Girls on the Prairie with our partner, the Native Prairies Association of Texas. 
We continue to work with the Dickinson ISD and their gifted and talented program. We offer a field biology class for a group of fourth and fifth grade students each semester. We are keeping busy with our weekly Tuesday morning work days. We have also been working with the Environmental Justice Association, a student organization here at UHCL. They have been working on a pocket prairie at the university. These students have also attended the work days alongside our core group of Master Naturalist and Native Plant Society members. Another project that we continue to work on is our Post Oak Savannah Restoration funded by the Texas General Land Office. We planted a half acre of prairie along the UHCL Nature Trail. This project has been hugely successful and we plan to install a handicapped accessible parking area and nature trail that will allow all visitors access to the restoration site. EIH continues to support the Native Plant Society of Texas Clear Lake Chapter, and we facilitated two native plant sales, one in the fall and one in the spring of this year. The Society continues to offer meetings with invited speakers on the second Monday of each month that address a wide range of important topics for our community. A huge thank you to Debbie Bush for facilitating these meetings for the Clear Lake Chapter. Building on these education and outreach initiatives, our research team continues to host an annual continuing education course on water quality monitoring for water quality professionals from all over the state. We could not have accomplished all that we did in 2022 without the support of the UHCL administration, our dedicated staff and graduate students, and all of the project partners, volunteers, and support programs at UHCL and beyond. Thank you all.